All right. So luckily we don't need that ladder anymore. Let's see what this guy did. Yep. Oh. He went up and died. That makes me very that makes me wary of going up this elevator now. <laughs> okay. Um okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to um <clears throat> We're gonna go uh, upgrade our Estus flasks again. No, shit. Uh, we're gonna fast travel. That's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna fast travel. Are there other flasks in this game? Yes. So okay. every time I pick up an ember, yeah. it, or not an ember, it's uh, I think it's called an Estus flask shard. <clears throat> it allows me to get an extra flask. So the number of uses goes up. <clears throat> um, if I pick up something which I'm about to called an undead bone fragment and I burn it in the fireplace at my shrine uh, it allows my Estus flask to heal more than it normally than it would without so like it upgrades the uh, the use of it how much it, it each use um, upgrades so yeah I mean that just makes perfect sense you pick up an undead bone shard you take it back to the fireling shrine you burn it and then your Estus flasks heal you for more I mean that's just common sense I mean that yeah I mean that's like that's some uh, Apple operating system kind of shit where yeah. you're just like, how can I do this? How can I drop this into the trash? And it's like, just click it and drop it in the fucking trash. Yeah, that's, I mean, it just makes perfect sense. Just take the bone fragment and yeah. drop it into the fire. Yeah, and then, yeah of course. Yeah, it's just flash, just heal for more. This game is convoluted on purpose. And here's the thing this I... Is, this mm -hmm. is the modern day equivalent of Castlevania 2. Yeah. That's what this is. Yeah. Just like, go in the forest and there's a spot next to a wall that if you kneel, some shit might happen. And then you just spend the whole game kneeling at random fucking walls because you don't know where you actually are supposed to go. C Cody, um, you have nailed it on the head. That's what that they're like. How can we How can we remake the sort of frustration that children of the 80s had playing Castlevania? Yep. Welcome everyone to Dark Souls 3. <laughs> exactly. And you want to know what? I dare say that anybody who loves this game and hates Castlevania 2 is a little bit of a hypocrite. Because they're they are they are exactly the same games. They're they're cut from the same yep. zombie cloth. Yep. You get ambiguous townsfolk. You get ridiculous puzzles that there's no way a human being would be expected to solve. Yeah. This game is 100% Castlevania 2, the the 3D version. Moment of moment of silence for the girl from the ring who was stuck on that pike back there. Oh yeah. She used to be hot, but now she's dead. Poor, poor, poor Samara. Yeah. Was that, oh, was that her name? Yeah, I'm, I'm glad she's getting work, though. That's good. Yeah. That tape was, I will say, that tape was a little disturbing. Seven days. Be wary of a bub. Man, all these messages. See, here's the thing, though. Because you get something for leaving good messages, it behooves you to leave helpful messages. Oh, that's good. Okay. So, I mean, that's people wonder like, oh, well, if you give people the ability to troll, all they're going to do is troll. Well, no, actually, there's ways to encourage people to do the right thing. Uh, and that's just one of them. You give them incentive to do the right thing and they will. <laughs> it's it's called positive reinforcement. Yeah, uh, it you, fucking works. When you when you don't poop in public, we give you a cookie and then <gasps> sooner or later, no one poops in public anymore. Could you imagine? If every time you, you you didn't jack off in public, you got a cookie, I could open a bakery. Open a that bakery. would be amazing. I would have so many cookies. Yes, all all. Some might some might say all the cookies. All the cookies. Uh, mm. I'm not the guy from Coney 2012. Oh, whatever happened to that shit? You gotta love oh, internet man. activism because it's like it's like a white hot fire that burns for thirty seconds. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like a white hot fire that allows you to fill your Estes flask. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This um, and I have done a lot of reading online because. They don't tell you anything in this game. Like, if I could go to a library in this game and read about the enemies and the lore, I would love that. But there's not... All you see is this shit here. Like, they just vague I snippets. I guarantee you, if there was a library in this game where you could learn about things... Yes. There would be 5,000 books in the library. Yes. And every book would contain, like, two sentences of useful information. Yes. And you would just be forced to read every single book 
and they would try and kill you. Oh yeah, and every once in a while, one of the books try to kill you. Yeah, yeah. That sounds exactly like something that's in Dark Souls. Um, if the developers would like to call me, please let me know. <laughs> um, there's a sadist game development yeah. unit. Uh, it, there is. It's called the Dark Souls de- game development unit. Oh, it's, it's, it oh. literally, it literally looks like one of these levels. Yes. Just, <laughs> you have to go down. Da- like... You have to go down into a dungeon. Right. Oh shit! I used. Uh, I needed. I need to save some ashes for or some souls for this shit. Okay. Um. This is what we're gonna do. So. This game is a little forgiving in one way that um, I've been picking up these items that um, when I use them, it actually gives me souls and I never lose them unless I use them. So like if I die, there's always kind of a way of me getting a few souls back. So nice. that's kind of nice of them. Oh. Um, oh, also there's a glitch in this game that allows me to pretty much get unlimited souls. I um, saw somebody posted that on the... Uh... Yeah. Yeah, I put. Of, yeah. yeah. Um. So I put. I put up a, a video on how to do it. Um. But I. Um, I'm not gonna do it in this playthrough because that's that's a bit cheaty. So I will play this playthrough straight. Hold um, on. Hold on. Yes. Slow your roll. Yes. We're not gonna cheat and defeat. We're not. We're 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 not gonna exploit. So here's the thing. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Not only will I be crucified alive if the put, internet put on, finds put on out your about snow boots. that. Put on your snow boots, everybody. We're going to head up the slippery slope. Let's We're going go. up the slippery slope. Um, I would be crucified alive if um, if people found out I did that. Um, but it does ruin the game a little bit. It does make the game kind of – it cheapens it a little bit. Um, so I don't really want to ruin that. So you, so you posted a video to teach everyone how to do it? Because <laughs> here's the thing. <clears throat> That's the way I feel personally for myself. Other gotcha. people may not feel that way. Other people, right. they right. just want to experience the game. And when there's no difficulty setting and there's no way of really getting around some of the harder parts of this game, who am I to tell that person how to play the game and how to have fun? They might really enjoy it. So for them, it's not my place to judge. If you want to do that, that's your business. Although... There's something about this game where people want you to suffer as much as they've suffered because honestly, there's a lot of, this game is not hard. People, I'm gonna say this right now. Everyone who's like, Dark Souls is difficult. You're bad at video games. I'm sorry, I hate to be the person to tell you this, but your parents should have told you this when you were growing up playing Mario and you weren't able to get past the water level. This game is not hard. I mean, it's unforgiving, sure. It's not easy, absolutely. It's not hard by any means. You just have yeah, this, to keep doing it, and you'll this, get better. This is no Flappy Bird. No, this is no Flappy Bird. Um, <laughs> and uh, this is coming from somebody who's never played a Dark Souls game before, so I don't have, you know, games and games of experience to build upon. Um, it, it's not as bad as people make it out, but they want you to suffer as much as they did. But you're, you're, you, you have uncommonly good video game skills i mean this is your superpower so i i don't I, know if i appreciate you're, you for saying that um, i don't know if you're you know yeah that's like that's like thor saying that something's light you know <laughs> you he's just good at lifting that's... things yeah he's just like this is this isn't that bad yeah it's like damn it you're thor stop it yeah because i know you know if i were playing this on my own it would be hard as fuck yeah so. well okay fair enough if i mean if you've never played if i mean I, have, I guess I guess in your defense, I'm not good at video games. Yeah, I, I, I'm bad at that. So yeah. uh, that that makes I guess it makes sense. Yeah, you, absolutely. Exactly. And that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, you would think this game is punishingly difficult. Um, right. Just like I would think playing the guitar is punishingly difficult or trying to draw a circle is punishingly difficult. We right. all have our talents and I just right. happen to have this one. So in, I guess in a way that does make the game hard if it's inaccessible to 90 percent of the population or whatever. Um, but I am really sick and tired of people going, oh, you're going to die so much. You're not going to be able to beat this boss. It's going to be so hard. No, I mean, we've, we've done, we've done much, much better this playthrough. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, I think it just takes it. There's a, there's, there's a a moment of getting into it, right? Oh, absolutely. It took us a little bit of time. Just like Metal Gear. Uh, Yeah. It took us a little bit of time to figure out the mechanics, figure out the system, how to equip everything. Yep. Um, Get the basic. Every game has its own language, right? Mm-hmm, Visually, absolutely. Um, how how enemies attack, where mm-hmm. things hide, where you need to look, what you need yeah. to do and not do, all that stuff. In this game, more than others. 
the, on, the online component, which wasn't available when we first started playing. Oh, yeah. But it seems like now that everything's sort of up and running, yeah. um, it's not, yeah, it's not as bad. Oh, yeah. We're gonna... not constantly dying. I, yeah. I know the first couple playthroughs, it was a little like, I it was hope touch the and go. not like this. Yeah, it was touch and go. The katana guy. Every 30 seconds. The katana guy, it was touch and go. Um, yeah, I, yeah I we, agree. we started and we died. We're like, yeah. and here it is, everybody. Here's Dark Souls, and we're out. Yeah. Damn it. Um, I did beat the first boss without dying, although I did die to that one first dragon.